Guys, live this morning, we're taking you to Washington, D.C. with developments on what's becoming a never-ending race to the White House. With election results still coming in and lawsuits starting to pile up, we're breaking down and tracking what's happening uh, from overnight. So just yesterday, NBC News projected that Joe Biden is the winner of Arizona after the last batch of ballots was counted in Maricopa County. The AP called Arizona for Biden last week. Biden is sitting comfortably at 290 electoral votes, which is far beyond the 270 that is needed to win. At the same time, a Pennsylvania judge ordered counties in the state not to count mail-in or absentee ballots if the voter didn't submit valid ID within six days after election day. The Trump campaign called the ruling a win. However, the number of ballots involved is a few thousand or less. As of Thursday night, President-elect Joe Biden has 60,000 vote lead in Pennsylvania as we speak. President Trump, though, he's been making unsubstantiated claims of widespread voter fraud since November 3rd. But a coalition of federal and state officials said Thursday that there's no evidence of that. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which is an agency signed into law by Trump back in 2018, said yesterday that November 3rd election was the most secure in American history. Officials who signed the statement say that they have no evidence of any voting systems that were deleted, changed, or compromised votes. Meanwhile, big news this morning and brand new this morning on Sunrise, China has congratulated President-elect Joe Biden on winning the presidency. A uh, foreign ministry spokesman said that we respect the choice of the American people and congratulate Mr. Biden and Ms. Kamala Harris. So pretty big news uh, coming from China. And Chris, I also know that the Pope congratulated Joe Biden as well. Yeah, each day get a little bit closer to this election being finalized. Thanks, Alicia.